This video is brought to you by the Farmer Klein YouTube channel. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Hello everybody and welcome back to another Map First Impressions video. Today we're going to talk about MVP19. This map can be found over at the FarmingSimulator.com website or the in-game mod hub. This map is currently available for PC only uh, due to the fact that it is a 4X map which means that it is four times the size of a standard farm sim map. Now, this map does list two required mods, uh, although I really have to question if one of them is truly required or not, uh, and that is guidance steering and the manure system. Um, so the questionable one is guidance steering. I think you can play the game without having guidance steering. Um, I think that's just suggested. But Manure System mod uh, is recommended, although as best I can tell, it looks like the map works without it uh, if you don't want to use the hoses. Let me read a little bit of the description. It says, Welcome to Mecklenburg Vaporanian. Yeah, okay, so I just butchered German names, so you're just going to have to live with it. Where the landscape is dominated by large areas and shimmering lakes. On this 4X map, they will take over the fate of the local agricultural cooperative. They coordinate the extensive fleet of vehicles with the most modern agricultural technology because the wide fields and meadows require powerful technology. Yeah, uh, this map is listed as being corn plus and corn CCM extension ready, multi train angle, and additional crops of fruit, or rye and fruit cow. He also lists that the gates at the shop are timed. Um, basically what that means is on a typical game day, the gates will open at 6 a.m. and close at 10 p.m. Do note, if you launch this game for the first time, or this map the first time, uh, the gate will open at 9 a.m. Uh, as opposed to 6 a.m. And basically that is simply because... Uh, the gate will open at the first hour after you start the gameplay on the first day, but every day thereafter, it will start at 6 a.m. and close at 10 p.m. Looking at the log as the map loads in. I did load this map up with Seasons and Straw Harvest just to confirm and both load up just fine and dandy. Uh, also, there are no cell points built into the map to handle the pellets. When I sell pellets, you're gonna have to put down your own cell point. Let's go ahead and take a look at the map. And here you go. Remember, this is a 4X map. These fields are a lot bigger than you would think. Do we have all of our standard crops here on the map except cotton and sugarcane. So no cotton on this map, no sugarcane on this map. We do have rye and triticale added to the map. Take a look at the lands area. You'll see we start out by owning fields 1, 5, 10, 15, and the small arable yard right here north of field 15. Just to give you a general idea of how big these fields are, field 15 is 246 acres. 10 is 117 acres. Field 5 is 175 acres. 2 is 100. Smallest field on here is 27 and it is 4.2 acres. Okay. Field 11 is fairly small and it is 30. Field 16 is 236. So these are some massive, massive areas. Um, area 21, which is a bunch of grassland, is 169 acres in size. You have a BGA. Uh, the gas plant is $39,000. And we do have animals that are embedded on the map permanently. We have the horse farm, 479,000. Pig farm, 69,000 cow farm 161 and the sheep area 46,000 dollars 
there is an area outside the playable part of the map uh, and in town here, the roads that you can buy for zero dollars. That should help you do any landscaping, uh, should you so wish. Sleep trigger is inside this gate here, but the gate is not operable. So to get to the sleep trigger, you have to jump the gate, and there you go. There's your sleep trigger. Uh, a little disappointing that we can't use the gate to uh, to get in. Can't use the gate here at the driveway. Go ahead and just check out the the yard here. So as we enter the yard, we have our silo dump point here. And then even though we have what looks like a pipe, uh, the fill point for the silo is over here in this side. Where your fill trigger is. Got room for equipment. And we start out with some fairly large equipment. Go ahead and take a look at that starting equipment now. Got John Deere farm here. We've got a John Deere 6230R, the 830 8345R, and the 7230R. We've got the Agco Ideal 8E Harvester. Have a New Holland Skid Steer. We have the, a pair of HKD 302 trailers. We have the big 12 meter power flow rain header for our harvester. Got the Carrier XL Cultivator, Tonto 9 Porsche Heater. We have the Coon Fertilize Spreader. We have a manure fork for our skid steer. We got our header trailer and then a bevy of weights. And there is nothing least as far as our equipment goes. Let's take a look at the cell points. We have four main cell points on the map that accept most of our crops. We also have a cell point for wool and remember there is no cotton on the map uh, we have no cell point for eggs because there's no chickens on the map you have a cell point for milk and the writer hoff will accept our silage hay straw and grass if we don't own the bga oh that's interesting Just said that there were no cell points for uh, pellets, but now there are. I'm pretty darn sure when I loaded this map up with seasons, there weren't any cell points. That's interesting. All right, at any rate, looks like there are, there is a cell point, sorry, for pellets taken. There's our starting equipment. Do not own any animals at the start, nor do we own any of the animal pens at the start. And take a look at these contracts. Field 24, bailing, 114 acres. I'm going to pay out $167,000 to wrap grass bale. Harvesting, 156 acres. Pay out one hundred four grand. 137 grand to harvest 201 acres of barley. Wow. And then imagine you get you get 5% of the yield also to keep. Once you complete 95% of the job, contract is complete. You keep the rest. If you like to play on a map with big fields, this is your ticket. Got our repair trigger. Some of our John Deere tractors and our harvester. That pretty much is the arable farm. Go ahead and get set up for a fly around, and uh, we'll spend some time flying over the map and just checking out uh, the field layouts and uh, and where all the cell points are, and then we'll get into our Mahindra and do a bit of a drive around. As we gain a little bit of altitude, you're going to notice uh, these fields are, yeah, 
I would say these fields are not tire help friendly. Very odd shaped. They have islands and various other things in them. Um, horseplay probably would do maybe okay, um, depending on how the state of horseplay is. I personally have given up on horseplay, but for Farm Sim 19, it's just frustrated me beyond belief. Um, been more times fighting it than it does help me. So, yeah. This would be an excellent multiplayer map. Excellent multiplayer map to get a whole bunch of people together and work on a giant harvest. Really have some great teamwork going on. Here we've got this meadow. Drainage. Ditches and such cut into it. Really cool looking. Now, something that I don't believe... Um, I don't think we have a rideable train. Let me just tab through some things. Nope, we, did, we don't have a rideable train. Check on that. I didn't check on that before. I was doing a little bit of a preview around the map. Didn't notice these train tracks down here to the south. But you can see as we fly over the fields, you're going to be able to tell how big these things, looking at the field info in the lower corner. Taking away to the northwest of the map. See this map as rolling fields, rolling hills in the fields. Really do like field layout. Just if it was a standard size map, these fields would still be big. That's this is a 4x map. Just makes them absolutely massive. Not really sure what. This is very, very interesting. I was going to say, I don't know what this was. Because when I loaded, loaded up the map, what I do when I do these videos is I load the map up and just look around, explore initially just to figure out what's going on. And then I will come back and um, I'll do the video. And when I explored this map the first time, this was a big hole. But now, clearly, a slurry pit. With triggers. The only difference is I've got some mods activated uh, that I usually use and the manure mod. Without the manure mod, that was empty. No placeables. Somehow that existence seems to maybe be tied to the manure mod being activated. Because I was going to come over here and I was going to comment on how this hole in the ground didn't have a uh, silage trigger, but it kind of looked like it'd be an a underground or an in-ground um, silage bunker. Clearly, it is a uh, intended to be used as a uh, as a slurry storage, slurry storage. In a little bit more altitude, look at this map. Here we have the horse farm. Really nice setup on lots of these farms. Here we have the pig farm. Circle up here to the cow farm. And this map 
is one of the few maps where we have seen animated animals. This farm actually has a, uh, a lot with um, animated cows in it. Cows that we don't own, can't do anything with. They just exist, give this farm a little bit of life. Over here, we've got something rather interesting. Uh, this is, I guess, like a, a, a garden center. We have kind of little plots laid out. Trees planted. Be kind of a garden center, a nursery area. We have some animated sheep over here. This is not the sheep farm. Seemingly an, a random animated area of sheep. Sheep farm is in this direction. Now, the farms in general really don't have a lot of area to really make them independent farms. I mean, like this area, got a, kind of a shed. And then a barn connected to the sheep area. That's pretty much all you have. You could run a small sheep operation if you wanted. Here we've got a few cell points at the dock. Then we have another cell point. This general direction. I found these windmills rather interesting. Uh, you look at the PDA there in field 10 and you see that and you're like, what is that? And it's basically a little windmill farm. I guess I should say a big windmill farm. Some big windmills. And then roads interconnected, you know, in this, in this field. this cell point here and I have to say this is probably one of the first maps where I've noticed modeled ag bags uh, to be here in the farm in the in the map itself field does have utility poles running through it if they have collisions on them do they do watch run into it can't go through them. In the biogas plant, down this direction. With the grass field 23 and this area over here being connected to the biogas plant. Two large bunkers, digester and our digestate. I'm going to go back to the, uh, the shop here in in the town. Then basically we're going to do a little bit of a drive around. So I'll meet you when we get back to the shop. All right, here we are at the shop. We've got our vehicle shop trigger, maintenance trigger, our maintenance.
you have this is a second map in the second day we've got a custom camera a live camera of the vehicle shop really like this implementation um, up to this point we really have only seen this on maps like Hoff Bergman now this is the second time that we've seen this in as many days that's pretty cool couple that with the animated animals And we've oh my buddy is here. My buddy from the Polish maps. He's found his way over here to Germany. Welcome. Are you enjoying your holiday? Up here. This is my dude. This is street light. You'll be okay. All right, the bus will be here to take you and your and your luggage back to Poland. Don't worry. Oh, buddy. All right, let's go check out the animal dealer. Got our animal dealer here. And the animal trigger is going to be right here. Cell point H A G E. I'm gonna buy some of our crops, basically our grains. Go ahead and tag this. Here we have the dump point for. H A G E. Now we'll head out of town. take this road up here and make our way over to the sheep farm From this perspective we can just kind of first person perspective from the road really experience the map in my opinion how the map author intended you to from the road level lots of these little details you miss uh, when you're flying third person camera from up above and beyond really nice looking fences three protectors there Rolling hills in the fields. All right, so here we have the sheep farm.
I have a narrow, narrow gate to get in here. I'd like to have seen that maybe a little bit larger. It'll work if you've got smaller, smaller equipment. I've got Mr. Big, Big Buffly, Buffy Burly Man over here. Big old chest. Checking things out. What? Cat's even checking. I guess something's up in that. Uh, I guess there's something up in that tree. So here is our skid steer that was part of our starting equipment. Here we have a sheep trigger. And then inside the sheep area, you have the water trough, which is right here at the tank. So we activate the animal pen extension. Purpose of one, seeing if the map author has built in support for the water valve, and two, it helps locate where the animal water triggers are located uh, and of course you can get in here and move these around uh, wherever you want them to uh, basically make them here however and wherever you want so Now up here we've got the food trough. This is the food trough right here. And I have to say, honestly, I don't know where the sheep wool is going to spawn. They spawn right here. This map seems to have the lack of trigger markers in general. So it's difficult to really say where the wool is going to spawn, but... I'm hoping it's going to spawn in that general vicinity. Like I said, during the fly around, there was really not a lot of room um, for vehicles. Put a, a decent number of stuff here in this barn. Then you have this little shed over here. Other than that, there really isn't a whole lot of space here at the sheep farm. Let's uh, kind of turn around. Let's continue down this road. I think it's going to loop over to the, um, the dock. Then we'll try to hit the BGA and the Agrivis cell point. That will kind of finish out the eastern side of the map. You have also over here a large silage bunker we can make use of. Have our silage trigger. This is an entrance down here into the dock area. Here we are 
this particular cell point will accept all of our main crops. Okay, there's the dump station. That. Got scales we can drive over. Next cell point. Finnery and then the sawmill. So the sawmill is directly in front of us. So here we have the log trigger and the wood chip trigger. Large. Really nice details here and here at the dock. Here we kind of got a uh, sightseeing boat. Pretty cool. Then the spinnery is going to be there. Completely missed it. Oops. Getting the wrong keys. The spinnery's back here. Over here we've got the spinnery. See if this. I think we're going to have to go back to town in order to make our way around to uh, biogas plant. No, no, no. It looks like, it looks like, okay, we can cut across. It looks like there's a road between 19 and 18. around. Sorry about that. Wrong way Wednesday here on the Farmer Klein YouTube channel. If you're watching this on a day other than Wednesday, uh, this was recorded on a Wednesday, so therefore it is indeed Wrong Way Wednesday. You love me some trees that aren't straight. We got a uh, tree over there that's leaning. Not all trees in the world grow vertical. I guess they probably start out vertical, but then uh, something happens and then they end up as they get crooked. I guess maybe I wouldn't think a giant, I don't think a truck would have pushed it over. Hey. Now with these big fields, obviously you're going to want to do big equipment. But uh, with a lot of these uh, a lot of these roads lined with trees, what I want to say, um, getting this big equipment to the field might be a challenge. Especially 
narrow bridges like this. Here we have the Grievous Bravis cell point jail. Then we have our dump station. This is the cell point to have the ag bags. Take this road down to the biogas plant. Again, just using this time to kind of look around at the fields, the overall layout. Really do like the tree lined roads, but again, some of this big equipment uh, that might be a problem. I have a fish. No, uh, it's just you. Fishing out here, dude. Cool. That's cool. I'm glad you're chilling. I like these billboards. I don't really have a clue what they say, but they give some nice atmosphere. Or dudes just chilling out. Buddy, it looks like he's got a dog this time. Another dog. Wrong way Wednesday, remember? We need to turn back there. Make our way around to the biogas plant. Turn around. Wrong way Wednesday. It is a thing. Look it up. Narrow, narrow lane. Really nice looking map. Again, the fields are massive. So unless you're willing to put in a pretty big investment into uh, into working these fields, um, this is definitely. Probably more geared toward maybe an organized multiplayer map uh, where you can really get four, five, six, or eight folks on the server to uh, really tackle these fields. Like how, since we kind of have a single lane road here, every so often we've got those pullouts. Traffic can pull over and let vehicles pass. Here we have our biogas plant. We've got our scale. We've got our assortment of tires to weigh the tarps down. 
Digest eight triggers over here. Got your hose. Hookups. You've got your two silage bunkers. One and two. Then your digester right here, Mr. Alligator. Overall, the biogas plant's fairly affordable. That'll, this'll send some folks into tirades with collisions in the middle of the field. Look at that. See how massive this field is. Those trees appear to be on the other end of the field. Um, but then the field just basically wraps all the way around the road that we just came in on. All the way up to the little town that we came through. And then beyond. Back to the main road here. Keep from spinning out. like Farm Sim Dirt Rally. Oh, no. Taken out by a guy's front fence. And this, this is still that field. Still the BGA field. Still the BGA field over there. I mean, field 13 is absolutely, utterly massive. One of those cool billboards. Now I've seen a couple of these little dots. around the map not really sure what they are related to but they seem to be related to equipment but the equipment we can't get into I don't know if it's just this is obviously farm sim a farm sim vehicle as opposed to just a decorative vehicle. Um, but maybe the little icons are showing up here. Had we had a couple here. We're here at the dock, I saw. Um, this is legitimate, something that we can get into. This is nothing that we can do. One here at a Grievous. I'm guessing that they're just decorative. But how they've been added to the map causes them to appear as if they are vehicle or trailer or implement 
little nodes. So we don't need to go back to the arable farm. You know, this this kind of a loop road that's going to loop back up to the main town. I'll check out the animal the animals, the cows, the pigs, the horses. I'll go over and do the final stop at the, uh, the last cell point over there on the western side of the map. Take that road. Man, these things are massive fields. I kind of keep harping on it, but man, they are some big fields. Again, the road access to these big fields, that might be your biggest struggle. Use really, really good sized equipment. This field kind of has a bow, like old. Kind of neat. Overall, how the fields have been, or how the terrain has been laid out. Here we're coming around to the horse farm. So it's a little, little disappointing that we don't have animated horses here. Like we've got the animated sheep in that one area and the animated um, cows. Got some nice kind of grass areas fenced off. We can see, you know, a few horses in each of those areas. Over here, we've got the horse pen. Five point for the horses. We have our food trough. Our sprawl trigger is right here. Okay, again, this map does not use trigger markers, so, but our straw trigger is right there. Then we have our our water trough. Now there is a trigger over here. I really don't know what it is for. Look at our animals. Food trough, straw, water, but trigger right here. And I don't know what it's for. So there's a trigger here, and I don't know what it's for, basically. I don't know if it's secondary straw trigger or what. This is a really cool. If we had a couple horses in that grass area there, fence, and over there, really neat. Really neat area at that point. Really nice area. You, know, you think about folks with horses usually have money. And boy, this area here just screams, I have money. Now this section over here, I really don't know what this is for, um, unless it's just an area for placeables to be put in here. These aren't silage bunkers or anything. So 
go this way. Wrong way, Wednesday. I think this way is the way to the pigs. Now, what's interesting is, I, mean, I don't know. I, I don't know, but in Germany, do we have stop signs like this? Or it's kind of interesting, we see a lot of European maps with what I kind of think about as American stop signs. Um, curious what uh, what it, what a stop sign would look like in Germany or, or other European countries. We've seen you know European styled road signs, just a stop sign. Rather interesting. Curious. So here we have a big slurry pit for our pigs. with our flurry trigger. And if we go down this way, we have our food trough, our water trough. And this time we do have trigger marker for our straw. I think our manure is gonna pile up there. That's as best as I can guess where it's gonna happen. And then our Pig buy trigger. Delivery point is right here. Our pig. Really nice looking pig area. Surprised that we get grass. So often we don't get grass for pigs. It's all dirt and mud. And then the rest of these buildings are really just decorative. They don't seem to serve any purpose other than to, to kind of give you a sense that this is a large industrial pig operation. I guess there's a shed over here for just general tool storage and implement storage. Possibly store root crops in there, store your grains in there. Let's head up this way to the cow farm. Oh, that field of sunflowers. This is really, really cool. Plaque. Anything on the plaque? It's like a little statuette plaque. This is the first, uh, whatever that is. That would be. Maybe that's the first piece of farm machinery that this, this farm ever owned. Now they've advanced into this huge, huge dairy industry. Lots of storage here. Oh, <laughs> somehow that got, got activated. Now it is immortalized in a video. So here we have our milk trigger. And while we have seen that we have animated cows over um, in a yard or in that direction, this barn we have static cow. So interesting little mix. We've got little calves in here. Working down adult cows. So we have our milk trigger there. We have our food trough. We have our cow buy point. We have our water trough on this side. And our straw point is, I'll be honest with you, I forget. 
So it looks like our straw trigger might be... Might be right here. Honestly, at this point, I kind of forget where it might be. Have a big area here uh, for replaceables or whatever. Flurry, four cows are going to be over here, and I believe manure once again is going to be in this general vicinity. We've got a massive, massive three-sided silage bunker. This is a silage trigger now. Ag bag again. I'd like to see that in more maps. I made it cows. Just to give the give the place a little bit of life. right through all right we're gonna make our way over to uh, the last cell point the honor hoff again i just butcher german names whoa 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 whoa, whoa. on the way over there let's let's go first person and ride in the Mahindra to just once again kind of experience the map from a road perspective. Guys, what do you think of MVP 19? Is this map a MVP? I have to say, I'm beginning to think it is. Looks just outstanding. Really like the looks to it. Like the feel to it. Man, I just, just wished it could be smaller. Just from a personal perspective. Um, because I just don't, wouldn't have the time to spend hours upon hours farming individual fields. again i think this would be a excellent cooperative multiplayer map where you can have you know, farms with four five and six simultaneous players on but choose your big equipment wisely some of these roads, as we've seen, are fairly, fairly narrow. Um, this particular road here isn't so bad. Most of the roads are tree-lined, uh, which again is, is going to cause you some grief with really wide equipment. And some of the equipment you're going to want to use on a map with fields this size is going to be fairly wide. Here we're coming up to that slurry pit that I mentioned that when I loaded this map up without the manure mod, that wasn't there. So it's somehow associated with the manure mod, uh, but it's not a part of the manure mod. 
like the map looks to see is the manure mod active and if it is it puts it there if it doesn't it just leaves a hole a really nice setup cell points really really have to give big props to the map authors And here we have our dump point. So guys, that is going to do us for this map video of MVP19. Once again, let me know what you think in the comments of this map. But he's made it over here to the train station. Oh, this must be his. He's gotten picked up at the bus station. Now he's over here at the train station waiting to be picked up nice use of pedestrians over here walking the uh, walking the train area train tracks gate under these train um, train sightings really really cool little map all right guys till next time happy farming be sure to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell.